Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Void Hero Map. Like always, if you guys have missed out on any episodes, you can go back and check out the playlist if you want to get caught up on the ones that you have not yet seen. But, today, let's go ahead and let's get some people added to the garden out here. Pigs, why do you like the ladder so much? They are both just piled up on the ladder, chilling over there. I don't know, I don't know why. Let's see, um... Will this get you guys down? Ooh, look at that. Delicious carrots. Come on over here and get some delicious carrots. They're not even interested. They don't even care. What the frig? What the frig, guys? Well, you know what? We can use the uh, auto smelter here and cook my myself up some uh, some foods here. Some potatoes. But uh, anyways, enough, enough dilly-dallying. We have slimes to shoot because they are very annoying. And they will not leave me alone. There we go. Uh, anyways, today let's add a commenter to the comment garden. Today we are adding Shib Shaba. And we are adding them because they left a comment that says, So crazy seeing how far the world's come since the beginning. And it is, it's bonkers. Like, look at all the stuff we've created. This wonderful house, which is a little bit small, I could probably do with a bit of an upgrade. I don't know if there's anything I could add, maybe. Add an extension out one way or the other or something like that. Maybe we could do that um, at some point. But uh, anyways, thanks for leaving that good comment and welcome to the comment garden. And anyway, oh, we need a new sign. We are it's crazy. We're actually out of signs here in the uh, the member zone. I'm going to have to grow another tree to be able to put uh, another sign down. It's kind of bonkers. These trees are nice, but they just grow so weird. I think I've probably mentioned that before, but it just kind of drives me crazy. Who wants a tree like this that you have to fudge around with trying to chop the thing down also kind of crazy how you get more of these root blocks than you do uh actual wood but anyways that's enough for what we need to do Ooh, look at that we have some good foods we got uh pork chops and some baked potatoes so we can uh eat that on up once the um bread is all gone can't believe i'm actually running out of bread finally there we go. A few more mangrove signs. Let's go ahead and add a member. All that <laughs> just add a member. I, I forgot what I was even doing there for a moment. Uh, but anyways, today we are going to add Professor Jungle. And uh, they have been a member for two months. I really appreciate that. And I actually, I spelled your name wrong. I appreciate it so much that I spelled your name wrong. But uh, they have been popping into a lot of live streams and watching all the videos and stuff, and I really appreciate them being a member. And if you would like to become a member, it's only 99 cents a month to do so, and that helps support the channel, but it also gets you a bunch of cool perks. You'll get emojis in the chat, you'll get uh, videos early as soon as I upload them, you'll be able to see them while everybody else has to wait for them to be scheduled to come out. You'll also get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. You can join whenever you want, whether you're Bedrock, Java, or with me on Fridays, I believe, when I'm going to be streaming that. And uh, we're going to be starting Season 3 here very soon, as soon as 1.21 comes out fully. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of cool stuff, so you definitely check that out if that's something you'd be interested in. But uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys. Thanks to my members for the support. You guys are appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's let's get to it. Let's get to what we're gonna do today. So we have very few advancements here left to uh, tick off, but they're um, they're proving a little bit difficult to uh, figure out how to actually do them. Like this one, we can create an ancient city, but where do I get an ancient city? Where do I get an ancient fragment or an ancient city fragment, whatever you want, whatever it's gonna be called? Um, also another one, we have to create a pillager outpost, we have to create a woodland mansion, but those are other ones that it's like, I, I don't quite know where those things are going to come from, where those, a fortress, which would be really handy because we need blaze rods so we can go to the end, but that's another one, I don't know where they're going to come from. Uh, so the thing is, we can just keep trying to throw, uh, fragments here and see what happens. We have nether fragments, which I'm assuming that's where we're going to get our fortress fragment at some point, maybe even the bastion fragment. Maybe we can go explore the Bastion some more and see if maybe it's in a chest or something. Or we take out more of the Piglins. Maybe that will do it. Uh, we have Malice Fragments. I've thrown a few of those. It seems to just like spawn in a little um, mossy cobble platform with some enemies. But I think these, this, this one and uh, this one may be our best possibility to get the, the uh, Ancient City Fragment. Because it's a deep fragment. And usually those are found pretty deep, right? 
Also, I've been uh, AFKing for a little bit, letting this kind of build up a little bit, and it's uh, it's been working out. It's been working out pretty decent. Also, we could try more cave fragments. I might do that. Let me grab some of those too, because we do need some more diamonds. So yeah, let's let's get to throwing some fragments. I think it's actually nighttime. <laughs> I think it's about to be bedtime. Not quite. We can we can throw some fragments. I didn't want to be out in the dark because uh, you know bad things are kind of happening over in my area where I'm throwing these things, and so like I'd kind of like to avoid getting frigged up at nighttime. And also grab some more coal because I think uh, I'm running a little bit short on that also. Oh, that's bad. So I'm gonna head on down here. I've been throwing them kind of in this area, and I think this is a pretty good area to to throw them. There's a deeper area, and um, you know there's a lot of baddies and stuff, but oh well. What we get? What we get? It looks like we didn't get anything, did we? Did we now? Do we have to throw these? I don't think we have to throw these at a certain level. For some reason, it just didn't do anything. Let's try another. It's not, it's not doing. It's just simply not doing. I, you know, why didn't I think of that before? I could just kind of like throw this up against something and then it won't go flying off like crazy. Why are they not doing anything? It's very odd. Like this one, this was a deep fragment, I'm pretty sure, and it did this. So why are these ones not, are we like, do we not have the space for it? Do we need to, to do something different? Let's try some more malice fragments because these, these work, I believe. Yeah. See, they just spawned in a little platform with, one enemy, which maybe I need to take that enemy out and not let them fall. Maybe that's part of the problem. Oh, hey. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe I think maybe that's uh, maybe that has something to do with it. Let's take him out. Stop going off the edge, you frig. They do like, oh fudge, oh fudge. Holy crap! They they're doing bad stuff. Holy frig. I'm trying to take him out without losing him. But this is kind of rough. Did we get anything? Other than some string? I can't even break that. What the fudge? I don't think we got anything special. Throw one more. What the frig? Butthole eating. God dang it. They just keep dropping on my head. Let's throw, let's throw another one of these and see if we get anything different. God dang it. Dang it! We dropped him off. Fudge. So that didn't seem to work. Um, Alright, I guess we'll try one of these over here. At the edge. Maybe something different will happen. Yeah, no, these are not working. Why are these not working? It's so weird. Is it because of that above it? Maybe. Let's try and build out a little, a little ways this way. And see if it's because it, it might be because there's something over top. God dang you, freaking creepers, man! The worst, the worst thing ever. All right, let's maybe build out a little ways this way and see if like it'll do stuff out here without like a cover over top. Maybe that's part of the problem. No, you idiot! God dang it! I guess I could just leave that kind of open for now, so that way. Um, <laughs> we don't have them creeping up on me anymore. I don't know where they're even, they're just like dropping in on my head from up there somehow. This is insane. They're so angry. Yeah, we can do like that, like I was saying, and have a little bit of a blocker so that way this doesn't go flying off the edge. No, nothing. What did I do different with that one to make that one work? I mean, like, it's not giving me any stipulations to this one. You know, like sometimes it'll be like, oh, throw them at a certain Y level. This one doesn't say anything like that. But for some reason, it's not working down here. Maybe we build up a little bit? Let's try this. Let's try building another little platform up here a little ways. See if anything happens up here. Hmm. You dingus. Yeah, it's really weird because it doesn't say anything about needing cover or anything like that. And I'm wondering if that's what it needs. It needs something over top of it? But you would think it would say that on the fragment if that was the case. I'm gonna head up a little ways. Maybe up here. Let's try... Let's try one up here and see if anything happens. There we go. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, so maybe we're maybe we're on track to getting the uh, thing. Maybe I should break this. Or do we need a warden to spawn in? Do we have to take out a warden for this? Do we got some lapis? I don't think we got any diamonds. Maybe we have to take out a warden to get the ancient city fragment. That could possibly be it. I'm very nervous though. Okay, that was two. I'm getting I'm getting real real scared here. I'm gonna build like a 
a barrier here so that way nothing can come up here all right I need to set that thing off one more time and then I need to get out of here okay there we go is it gonna do it it's gonna do it frig you idiot god dang creepers are ruining my whole plan it didn't even work anyway that should be that should be summoning them in there it is there it is fudge no you idiot you zombie frig frig god dang idiot I'm trying to block the warden holy frig <laughs> oh this is so bad I think I need to kill him does that block it that doesn't even block it does it I need to run. I need to run a little bit. Okay, we need to keep taking him out. Maybe he's going to drop the fragment. He's going to do that. I don't even have, like, power or anything. Fudge. That's going to be me dead here soon. What can I do? What can I do? Die. That's all I can do. All right, we got to get back there. I was uh, obliterated by sonically charged Shriek. Is he still around? He shouldn't despawn, right? Maybe he will despawn. I hope not. I think this is my only option, though, is to, like, kind of just hit him a few times, back up. Hit him a few times, or hit him a few times and die, then come back. Please don't fall off, though. Ooh, one shot. Holy crap, he killed me in one shot. One go. Right, we're getting back in there, though. <laughs> this is This is the best battle you've ever seen. I don't know, like, any of the good tricks. I know you can trap them and stuff to be able to take them out. I don't have... I still haven't gotten enchantments. That's something I really probably should focus on. But, uh, I don't have any enchantments. Like, I don't have any power on my bow or anything crazy like that. Let's get a few hits in. Holy crap, dude. Seriously, one shot on me? Let's, uh, let's hit him with the sharpness sword. Do a bit more damage. I need to maybe chuck out some of this crap, too, while we're at it. A lot of crap that I don't really need. Please don't go anywhere, Warden. I think you're the uh, the answer to my, my problems here. I have a good feeling about this. Is he obliterating other things? Okay, let's... I wish I had the, uh, the mace at this point. Drop in on him and... How did I get slain by him? Did he even hit me? I hit him once and I died. If I had the mace, I could drop in on him from up top and do some major damage on him. I need him to not fall off, and I need him to not, like, make the thing that he's going to drop fall off. See, I can drop in on him. One shot. Why is... How is that, man? It's like he's not even hitting me, either. I just get obliterated by me hitting him. Does he have some kind of, uh... Does he have some kind of thorns on him? He's sniffing. He's sniffing around. There we go. Did some damage. Yeah, it's like I can't even get one shot on him. He just destroys me. No! <laughs> I just can't let him, like, despawn. I don't know if that's something that would actually even happen, but we can't have that. We gotta try and engage him in a good way where we can get, like, a few hits off on him. Now, where is he? Where is my man's? Try and bow him a little bit. Just try and get some hits on him. Where is he at? Where's my dude at? There he is. There we go. I got a smack on him. I got a smack on him. Okay, I got a couple smacks on him. It's actually pretty good. And somehow I spawned in my sheep pin. That's, uh, that's good. That's what we like to see. I also lost my helmet. I'm about to lose my chest plate. Uh, at least I got good boots and pants. I need to get better boots and pants. I need to do a little bit more trading with the, uh, villager. Get that up a little ways, too. He's in a bad position here. I hate when I can't see anything. He's got no way to get up here, I don't think. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good damage. That's good damage on him. 
That's pretty good damage. Come on. He's got to be getting low, right? We've hit him so much. All right. Let's just keep... We're just going to keep on keeping on. Hopefully, we can get him back into that kind of position because that was good. We were getting a lot of hits off on him. I'm just trying to hurry up and get back there every time so that way he has no chance to, like, just disappear or anything like that. Ooh. There it is. There it is. This is good maneuvers. Here we go. We're back in the position. Oh. Oh, he did, uh, he did that. Please don't be doing that. Come on. There it is. There it is. We got him. Did he drop anything? I died from one fall. I don't think he even dropped anything. All right, I'm breaking this now. We don't we don't need this here anymore cuz um, I'm not doing that again. It did not accomplish anything. Nope, you butthole enemies. If there was anything, he might they might have just destroyed it being friggin' idiots. Let's break this and see if we get anything. There's got to be it's got to be something from here that we can get the uh, ancient city fragment. Like there's got to be some way, right? That gives me experience. I guess we could try throwing another one of these uh, dark, deep dark fragments or deep fragments, whatever the frig they're called. See if that does anything better. Like how about right here? Let's throw one. Nothing. That time it did nothing. What about right here? Will you do something here? Oh. It did one of those. Oh, it's doing that stuff. Okay. No, I lost one. Frig, that sucks. Yeah, I don't know why they're... Sometimes, some places they're doing stuff, other places they're not. I could try it right here, because it already did, um... It already spawned in this area. Maybe we could just keep throwing them here and see if it overwrites that. No, it did nothing. There we go. We got, we got something. What do we get? What do we get? What actually is this? I got protection for diamond pants. Yo, that's sick. Glowberries. Disc fragment. Music disc. Enchanted Gapple, a compass, diamond horse armor, huh? Yo, this is uh, interesting. What is this? This like appears to be a fragment of ancient city, doesn't it? Dude, those pants. Oh, I should have. Dang it, dude! I should have waited and not netherited. Well, I guess could I combine them? Could I do diamond pants with? I need a lot of iron to make a uh, anvil for that, but I think I could combine these pants with my netherite pants. And make uh, Unbreaking 2 and Protection 4 pants. That'd be kind of sick. Sick pants. Now, what is this? Is this one of those unbreakable blocks? If it is, like, why is it here? That's strange. But we did get something interesting here, though. Do... I need a compass. I'm going to take it anyway. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to need it. But uh, let's. I guess we could try another one right here while we're at it. Because this spot seems to be working. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. No, 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 no. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. I didn't want to do this again. Didn't want to do it again. I'm getting shot from somewhere, too, while we're at it. Of course. I can't see anything. Frig off. Frig off. Frig off. I'm gonna get shot. You're getting me... You're getting me shrieked at. I'm getting Shreked. I just got Shreked. Huh. Now what? <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave that area and maybe he'll despawn. And let's go to the nether. Throw some nether fragments. Once again, I think I forgot to wear my freaking golden boots, but that's alright. No big deal. Let's uh just try out some of these. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the little feller's mad. Are you mad, little feller? Don't be mad. Somebody's always mad, it seems. Let's try another. We're in a lot of these zones, for whatever reason. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Yep, I should have known. I am like, oh, no big deal. Nothing bad could happen. Fudge, they got me stuck. Frig, you friggin' frigs. It seems like it's safe to go back over here. I think the warden despawned. Suppose we could try a few more of these since uh, no more warden over here. 
we could kind of maybe just try throwing one in this because this is like the KV area. Let's try let's try throwing one over here and see if it works out because they haven't been wor all working out over there for whatever reason. Okay, we got that little feller doing his stuff and things. That's good, I suppose. We're getting a little bit close to the house, so I probably should head over this way a little ways and try not to interrupt my path. All right, let's throw one up here and see what happens. Oh no, frig! Did it do a lot? It must have done a lot. Right, good thing I grabbed some of that coal so I can make some torches. I can't even see anything. It must have done. It must have done a lot. What has it done? Ooh, we got some iron. That's good. That's that's what I was just looking for. I'm thinking about doing a, an anvil, so we're gonna need a lot of iron. We got our fragment back. Is it just a solid chunk of deep slate here? I believe it is. But maybe there'll be some diamonds also? There's iron. Decent bit of iron here. Ooh, is that like a... That's a full block of iron right there. That's not, oh, another one. Oh, dude, this is very good. Yeah, this is just what I needed. Now we're going to be chilling in the iron department. We're making that anvil. We can combine up our pants. I'm going to have a sick pair of pants. This is so much better than the warden spawning in. <laughs> oh, we even got some lapis. We're kind of running into the uh, the watery zone here. Not seeing any diamonds yet. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Uh, if only I had fortune. Fudge. I really do need to get enchantment going. Should we work on that next? I'm just going to dig these for now. Going to need to make a new pickaxe soon. This pickaxe is actually running real low. The fortune wouldn't have worked because I don't think you can mine diamonds with gold. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm not even entirely sure where I got the deep fragment originally. But hopefully I'll be able to like keep reusing it. You know, you can kind of get them back. And uh, hopefully we'll keep getting it back enough times. Fudge. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. There we go. Shouldn't have done this over the watery zone. That might have been a little bit of a mistake, but it's all right. Got a little bit of gold. Let's get rid of some of this crap holy. All right, so I'm actually, I'm going to try throwing another one right on top of here and see what we get out of it. This has been kind of uh, successful today, actually. But before I do that, maybe I should go get some of that, uh, what is that? Is that just glow ink? That's just glow ink. Freak that. We don't need that. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to go get some of this iron smelting up so we can get the anvil. Oh, you know what? That's why I, I was going to say, like, I need to get enchantment going. I never did that because I didn't have sugar cane. But then I did pick up a lot of books, did I, didn't I? Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, where did all my books go? I got a lot of paper and a lot of books. So that's actually pretty good. We got a bunch of uh, enchantments we can do also. Yeah, we got a prop three, power four. Okay, so there's there is a decent bit of stuff here that I got that I can sharp three. I actually I already have a uh, sharp four, so that's not super great, but yeah, I have a decent bit of stuff that I can actually do already. Uh, so I need to turn this into iron ore. That's a lot of iron ore. Look at that. We're going to make an anvil for sure. Uh, probably throw a little bit of coal in there. I don't, I'm probably running short on coal. Uh, maybe I should grab, didn't I have some cave fragments on me already? Yeah, I do. So maybe I can throw some cave fragments also, get up a little bit of coal supply. Right now, my focus has been a little bit the uh, the deep fragments. I'm, I'm wondering if I really can get an ancient city fragment out of these. I mean, there's got to be some way to do it, right? Oh, nice. Look at that. Uh, that's probably over top of... Frig! <laughs> over top of lava, I was going to say. Uh, so I should probably like try and get underneath of it and block it up and not die falling into the lava. Like a dingus, I survived. Somehow I managed to survive. Okay, I think we got it pretty much blocked up. Let's be very careful here. Yeah, nice. Look at that. Four diamonds. I'm going to need a lot more than that, though. Try and block up more of this. I should have brought maybe some, like, gravel or something. That works pretty well for blocking up lava. I want to get rid of all the lava because I have a good feeling that there's, like, some valuables inside of this somewhere. That seems like something they would do. I saved that gold. Nice. Something Did something just die in the lava? Oh, fudge, 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 fudge. I can survive this. I've done it once. I'll do it again. Yeah, so I'm kind of thinking maybe we do an extension off of one side of the house and we set up the good old enchantment setup. I think I should have everything I need for that. Maybe something I can do this weekend off episode and then when we come back we'll... Uh, We'll get into some enchantment because I have 48 levels. So, I mean, like, I have plenty of levels to be able to do some good enchantment. Okay, so I don't think there was really anything under the lava. I think covering that was kind of 
useless, but... Oh, wait, I didn't even look up, dude. There's stuff above me. More Lapis, that's pretty solid. Gonna need that. I can't believe I've gone through a full diamond pickaxe. Let's just try one more of these. What did that even... Okay, it did. It spawned a little bit of stuff above me. It's kind of doing these, like, layers. More Lapis. The diamonds is what I'm really after. This seems to be the best way to get them, I think. Unless, uh, chests, maybe. More redstone over there. Uh, yeah, this might go down a little ways. Or it just goes back into where I was already at. A couple more diamonds would be nice. Oh, we got more lava. Oh, we do have diamonds, though. It seems like this is maybe guaranteed a couple diamonds when you get one of these zones. But, if I would have been smart and gotten fortune ahead of time, we could have been getting a lot more diamonds. Oh, that was a close freaking call. Holy crap, that would have sucked. Nice. Six diamonds. Okay, so we got enough for another pickaxe. We got enough for enchantment table. Let's do another. Oh, frig. Another one of these ones. I kind of would like to get that. Another big iron one. I kind of would like to get that fragment back, though. Is that it right there? I think that's it. Big iron pretty... Oh, I, I freaking did it. I freaking did it. Uh, yeah, a lot of iron, though. Oh, I can't break it with, uh, gold pickaxe, of course. I think there should be diamonds in here, probably. Oh, I fell. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, it's a diamond... I can make a diamond sword. I was like, wait, what the heck is that? It's, uh, the master sword. I'm using the, uh, texture pack still. I right, can go ahead and make another diamond pickaxe. That's good. It's pretty useless that they put fortune on a gold pickaxe, because it can't break anything. It can't break anything good, so what is the fortune doing for you? Nothing. I think this probably stopped because I'm out of... Yep, I'm out of stuff. Okay, so I got five more diamonds after that, so that's pretty good. We could probably see about making the anvil. Need one, two, three of those. And then, yeah, we can make it. Very nice. Uh, so yeah, I think expansion this way would be pretty good. Maybe I should kind of start out on that. Um, should we do mangrove again? We did stone bricks for the floor, so let's let's go ahead and like just set up a floor for now. Do I have any more stone bricks? I do have more stone bricks. Okay. I, th I thought I did, but uh, I wasn't too sure. So right over here, we can kind of like the same length as this. Actually, we don't even need this to be that big. It's just for enchantment. But the one problem is we have like a double situation here. And enchantment's only like a single kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's just kind of go... Let's ma We'll make this room a little smaller because it doesn't need to be as big as the main house. We'll try and like see if we can set up um, the enchantment table kind of set up in the middle of it as best we can. We may have to have it like be off to the side, I'm thinking. I'm probably just going to try and use up all these bricks if I can. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I'm going to be like one short to do another layer. But I'm thinking this should be good enough, right? So we're going to have... Just grab some mangrove. We're going to have a wall right here. Like so. Let's put a little bit of a torch down. Let's say this is... Now, it does need to be a little bit bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. Can't believe it. I just broke an axe. Here's what we could do for now. To give me that extra bit of space I need, we can go like this. I can try and get more stone bricks between episodes, too. So that way we can uh, make this look a little nicer. But if we go out one like this, it's only not going to look right from the outside. The inside's going to look fine. That gives us like one extra bit of space, like so. And then in, so like say this is the bookcases. Then you'd be three and three. And then say this is the enchantment table. Yeah, that'll work. So we can walk into here and it's it's not gonna, you know, it's gonna be off to the right, but then we can have chests and stuff over here to kind of fill that area in. That could be, that could be kind of good. I think that'll work out. This has been a bit of a distracted episode. I've not really, I feel like I haven't accomplished anything. I've just been running around doing random stuff. But, I, I mean, it is working towards the goal. I did do, like, the the deep, dark areas. Or, or not deep, dark areas. Like, I fought the Warden, which I thought that might have gotten me the uh, Ancient City Fragment, but it doesn't. So I need to kind of figure out where I'm going from here, where I'm going to get those next fragments. So if anybody actually knows, feel free to let me know in the comments. I think I am going to need one more mangrove tree to be able to finish this up. 
But uh, once again, that can be like some off-camera kind of stuff. I might just take like stone slabs and just cover it with slabs. Then uh, yeah, I'll go around the outside with more bricks. I'll just have to go kind of work on this a little bit, work on mining a bit. Actually, that is something I was kind of thinking of doing today. Let me let me set that up real quick. I'll just set up like the basic. I'll do the if I'm gonna do fancy redstone, which I might. We'll we'll set that up at another time. But uh, what I wanted to accomplish here, I need some wood. This will be a real quick thing here before we go because we are just about out of time for today's episode. Let's get some bamboo and make a bunch of wood. Been kind of AFKing a little bit, just letting that go so we get a decent bit of bamboo that I don't have to actually like mine. Because I am, uh, I guess you could say I'm lazy. <laughs> I don't like to have to actually do physical stuff. Let's make a iron pickaxe because I don't want to waste my diamond pickaxe on this. I think I need redstone too. So one thing I'm missing, I believe. I'm still not seeing it. Why am I not seeing it? Ah, cobble stone. Why do I always forget that cobble stone goes into that? There we go. We need a piston and a lever. I think I probably have a lever. Yep, I got a couple of levers. I actually got a couple of repeaters, which that might come in handy if I do like the fancy method of doing this, which I think I, I think I might do. But for now, we're just gonna go with the simple simple version. So to make your uh, cobblestone generator a little more efficient, once you're kind of set up and have some good stuff, you can go like this. It's going to be a little tough to, to do, I feel, getting it facing the right way. We could... If we break that, we need it to be facing this. Nope, not like that. God dang it. need it to be facing like that. There we go. There we freaking go. Then uh, you can go ahead and put your lever and do that. So that way, and you can set this up on a uh, timer, so that way it'll just keep pushing it. As long as it can, uh, you know, have space to extend, it'll extend. So yeah, you set up a timer so that way it's going to give it enough time to pull back and create another block and then push. So this makes it a decent bit more efficient, because now, instead of losing some of that to uh, lava, you know how some of it just kind of burns away, now you get to mine all that. See, cause I, I'm forgetting to pull it back. So if I just set up a clock for this, which like I said, I'll probably do that between episodes. This will just be like, it's kind of way more efficient. It'll just push it out like that. I can come over here when I have a full line, you know, it can only push it so far. Then I can come over here and bam, we got cobblestone. Alrighty, well anyways guys, I think that just about does it for today's episode of the Minecraft map, Void Hero map. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. That helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and turn on those notifications. So that way you're not going to miss out on any future streams or videos. Join the Discord so you can come by and chat. And if you want to help support the channel, it's only 99 cents to become a member, but that gets you all those cool perks like access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server, Season 3, starting as soon as 1.21 of Minecraft comes out. You get videos early, a whole bunch of cool perks such as emojis, stuff like that. Also, if you want to help support in another way, there's merch. Link is in description. Link is on the channel. Um, you can check that out. Merch helps out a bunch of you. you want to pick up some cool stuff. We got shirts. We got hats. We got some drinking glasses. Definitely, I, I like the uh, I like the the stuff we've gotten so far. So yeah. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.